We are here, we are here, we are here. On this amazing day. Okay, everyone, this is Cam Jones, FX Daily Analysis, and we are marking up EURUSD. We are on the 12 month time frame. Price action last candle to right hand side is a bullish green doji. So that market is indecisive. So we waiting for that market to push up, push down or consolidate with more doji style candles, green and red, work its way sideways. Current price sitting at 1.08172. So if price work its way up, it can head up to the overall high high of structure will be red and green, which will be landing at the numbers of 1.22292. Before tagging that area, it can tag the midpoint within that area, which would be the top of the second last candle body of that candle or the bottom of the third last candle body, nearing the numbers of 1.13909. 1 now, if price action pushes down from current price, price action can tag that bottom of that support area, which would be near the numbers of 1.04967. Before dropping down further. So if it drops down further, or it can be respected if it drops down further within that area. So the area we're looking for price to tag would be the second last candle bottom of that wick. Nearing the numbers of 0 0.96025, and price may not make it that far, depending on what the market identified. But we are definitely looking for the breakout of the second last candle top of that body or the bottom of that wick. So with every anything within that area is consolidation. This is why receiving the doji at the moment. So it could be respecting the area to work its way up or pushing down. So let's talk about if that market is gonna work its way up. What is it respecting? Now, if price action can follow up and create some momentum with this candle and push up for a bullish green candle and identify a pattern. If so, it's coming from the sector last candle to market, which would be a spike down to a low. So if you look at the pattern within that area, what patterns identified once it tagged at multiple areas of support for it to push up. So we can see that market came down red and green for that first leg, second leg overall, third leg red and green. Market could push up with a bullish green candle. Um, with this candle, the following candle, we'll see that W formation. So we'll be primarily moving from the second last candle, bottom of that wick. Now let's say if price action pushes down, where is it coming from? So find price action, look over to the left, looking for the highest red and green in that area. Now we have multiple pushes to that top. So let's draw it back, so let's draw out what we see. So red and green, so we do have that first, second, third, fourth, bearish red candle that we're currently on, came back for a retest. So that's retest one, retest two, so we have a double, so we have a double top, a double retest, the market pushed down. So that means that market's coming from an overall four pushes to that top, one, two, with the double retest, four pushes, or you can read it as a double top and a double retest. So that first retest of that candle will be the third leg. So it could be one, two, three, triple top, retest. Market came down from a triple top and a retest or a quadruple top, four pushes to that top area so if we have four pushes to the top market came down so let's add a midpoint connecting that resistance line that we created so we can see that overall going again one two three four one two three four quadruple top market into that area came back to retest one two three four so that's a, another double top. So the quadruple top created a double top and it consolidated side by side with the second last candle. So now we're looking to see is, is this area is going to push down. And if so, that means that that market is coming from. So once again, market into the area, first, second, third, fourth double top. Price action could be a reading as a retest, which means it's stopping at the midpoint of the second last candle. It can follow up with the bearish red candle, with the, which can be the next candle, or this candle turns into a bearish red candle and work its way down, and the market be coming from a double top and a double retest. And if you read it overall, market's coming from a quadruple top that created a double top that pushed 
that can push that market down from that double retest. So quadruple top double retest market could push down, but we know that market price action consolidating. But if it's respected at the area, and we talked about this earlier with the second last candle, that market create that W formation. Now working our way to the six month time frame, let's see what's going on. So price action on the six month time frame is reading as a bullish green doji. So it's indecisive. So doji is consolidating indecisive. If it's respected for this market to move bullish and green, it pushes up. That means it's respecting from that second last candle, which will be a spike down to a low. So once again, when we read the market within that area, red and green to the low, first leg, overall second leg, market came back to the third leg, respected the second last candle spike down to a low, and it pushed and break out. We'll see that W that W first. So that's all the price make it to that price of that high of 1.22292. It's headed to the resistance will close out the W formation. But once the market breaks and we look for the market to break, let it push up, let it come back to retest with a bearish red candle before it follows up with bullish green candles. And then we'll identify the double bottom in a retest. Working our way to the three month time frame. So price action on the three month time frame is reading as a bullish green doji, same as the six month time frame. So what this market could be reading. So we, we read the market to just say if it pushes up. So what, what if this market is reading as it's going to drop down? So then you look at price action. So we know it came back to retest. So it came back to retest. Action on the change this into a zone. And let's say that the market tagged the midpoint of price action high, midpoint low. So this will be second level lows. So if that market identifying is tag in that area then you ask yourself okay where is it coming from looking for the highest red and green to the left so when that market did spike up for that first leg second leg third leg uh market pushed down for that fourth leg and let's create this zone So once that market entered that zone for that fourth leg, market came back to retest. Now we're still looking for the market to do what it do. And we look for a pattern to identify. So is he going to tag this midpoint, work his way down for another retest, and then follow back up with a following break? Or it can respect his support from the previous low red and green and work his way up for that W formation. So whatever we're looking for, we're looking for the pattern to identify itself at the high, at this low, or you could just take it at the overall structure for that pattern to form within that area. Working our way to the monthly time frame. So price action on the monthly time frame is reading as a bullish green candle. Side by side with the second candle being a red, bearish red candle. So price, second, third, last candle are all consolidation. So this market consolidating side by side. And what this market reading in this area is that market came down from a low. So we have a first leg, second leg, uh, the fourth last candle pushed up into that area. The third last candle retest has some momentum to push up, still came down with the second last candle to push back up. So what this is reading is a W in that area. So we have a first, second, third, fourth. Now it could fully break out or not, but right now we know it's tagging that zone with a pattern of reading as a break, a retest, and could be pushing out. Working our way to the weekly time frame. So we have price action as a bullish green candle. So second last candle has spiked up to that high similar to the bearish red candle so we have a spike up to that zone area once spike up with the second last candle twice so if this market pushes down from that area so it's identifying tag the air tag that zone for that first second third and it could be dropping back down at least to the support before creating some momentum so we're waiting for the pattern to identify itself near the second last candle headed down to the daily daily time frame is a bullish green candle so to break this area down we We'll do it as we have a resistance, we have a uh, support, and we have a midpoint. Okay, so what happened with the third to last candle? With that spike down to a low area, so we taking that area and putting a zone around it, and we can see that market's tagged it. Now we could be pushing out for the breakout, coming back down for the retest.